Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, where we discuss the previous week in gaming and discuss a topic or two. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting over across... Well, I guess not across. Not across. Well, okay, listen. Well, it, it, if it's, no, no, it's across no, no. I got space. This. You're across space and time. Wait, <laughs> time are we technically, though? <laughs> okay, maybe not time, but specifically space. Maybe. I like to think that we are literally across from each other, <laughs> yeah. distance-wise, you know what I mean? Like, we're both... I can envision direction. you in front of me right now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, for everyone at, know, uh, at home, you might not know, but we are... Um, quarantining ourselves from each other yes uh, we don't want to get sick and yep. alex has a pregnant wife we don't want to get her sick either no we do not so we are not touching and you know how hard it is for us not to touch each other you know what i'm saying i can just i can <laughs> I, I miss your hand yeah 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 usually we're holding hands during yep. the entirety of the podcast the so whole this time is strange this is so strange for us uh <laughs> all right if you <laughs> if you're new here then you can check it out every friday on like a service of your choosing and youtube every friday if you enjoy our content even more than that you can go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers you can give us the buck give us the five dollars you can get all the tiers there uh, mm-hmm. if you are a freeloader don't worry we are too please give us all the five stars all the likes all the watch time everywhere of your choosing it helps a lot alex yes we got some got some xbox news today not not some yeah, we have a we lot do. actually there's a lot. There's basically just Xbox news today. Um, let's, but let's bring it. Before we get into that, mm-hmm. what have you been playing? Elijah, I've been playing. So uh, I started Ori, and I, I started at the beginning. It, it, mm-hmm. it looks great. It, it's mm-hmm. it feels it feels fun. I just mm-hmm. need. To, I haven't gone back to it just because I wanted us just check it out because I went to uh, more Kingdom Hearts. And oh God, yes. uh, yeah, I started Kingdom Hearts 2 on Critical, which, by the way, is my very first playthrough on Critical mm-hmm, ever. Mm-hmm. You're just a baby. Yeah. I'm actually on Critical as well, but this is my second playthrough, so yeah. I kind of know things. Yeah. I'm already at the end. I could beat it today if I wanted to, but I need to, you know, do the garbage. You got to get to Oh, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm literally just taking my time. Like, I'm trying to defeat everything, get everything. Um, I'm actually thinking about farming a little bit on certain materials early in the game. Just won't have to worry about it later on. Well, it's, it's so nice. I don't think any other Kingdom Hearts really does this. I don't know if 3 does, but doing it on Critical give, mm-hmm. re-get, just gives you a bunch of skills. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Early. So you don't have to grind as much because, dude, I have so many synthesis and I haven't grinded at all. So yeah. it's just so nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And what else? Uh, I've been playing uh, was, Apex, and then we actually started playing a little bit of Warzone on Call of Duty. Warzone. Last week, I said, um, I think I, I think I played literally a match mm-hmm. of Warzone, or I was going to, or whatever. Uh, this I have played probably like twenty matches now, or something like that. Yeah. We played a lot of it. It's so good. Yeah. I was not expecting to like it. I'm not going to front on anyone here. I did not think I was gonna like this, and yeah. I started playing it one day, and now I'm hooked. Oh yeah, no, it's it's pretty it's pretty fun, and I'm actually it's fun. debating on it if I'm gonna play it enough to mm-hmm. mess with the battle pass. I'm not sure mm-hmm. because I really like Ghost and I really like how he looks, but I'm not yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about so, if I'm gonna. Get I was playing. in that I was in that predicament as well. I um I rationalized it because I reached twenty five without getting the battle pass, and I was oh, like, wow. all right, yeah, no, let I'm me just not, not let yet, me I'm just get. Let me just get it because this gives me twenty five things and it was only yeah. ten bucks. Yeah, oh, so you did get it? So, yeah, I got it literally last night. So oh, gotcha. Yeah, that unlocked like all the like twenty five things I unlocked mm-hmm. all at once, which is super satisfying. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like really good to get all that stuff. Yeah. Um. Uh. But yeah, Warzone. Um. I'm anticipating Doom Eternal. That mm-hmm. is. Oh yes, in, Friday. As a recording, uh, what is this? Wednesday. Today yeah, is Wednesday. Wednesday. So in two days, we're going to be able to play Doom Eternal, which I'm oh, very yeah. excited about. Everywhere has uh, basically reviews up and everything like that. Um, we're going to get into that later in the show, but uh, it's good. Shocking, I know, but it's it's good. It looks good. Yeah, I'm excited. and I want to play it. Yeah, me too. And um, I'm 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 keeping. My, I'm not going to lie to you, Alex. I'm going to mm-hmm. tell you a secret. Right? Don't tell anyone. It's just Uh-oh. you and me talking right now. Okay. Shh, shh. 
I'm in, I'm interested. I'm interested in this Animal Crossing business that's about to come out. Uh, you know, I've never played an Animal Crossing game, and I'm actually me really either. interested in, um, as well. But, it, but they keep showing it me, and I'm like, ah, oh, that seems like a Minecraft thing where I'll mm-hmm. get into it and like have a lot of fun for like mm-hmm. maybe a month and then get out of it. But it's gonna be a good month, I feel. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but enough of me secretly wanting to play Animal Crossing. Mm-hmm. Let's get into the Series X news. We have a Do we it, have man. we have a lot. I'm not gonna lie to everyone at home. I, I there's there there's a they just kind of dumped everything on us uh, yesterday specifically. Mm. Um, or actually, I think technically the 16th. Uh, so there is yeah, so a, a lot to go through. So we're just gonna hit the top marks, and then if you want more, you can head over to of course Xbox Wire. They have everything out already. Uh, so I'm going to start right here. So, they put out this huge article, and they have actually breakdowns on Digital Foundry, which I love that website. Yeah. I um, mean, they go through full looks and, like, talk to you and kind of simplify things, basically, like, telling you what ray tracing means, how are they going to use teraflops to their advantage. All, all them flops, things. man. All the flops. What are the flops going to do to you is is basically what they're trying to answer jesus i don't know if you can see this alex but there's mm-hmm. a chip on this thing i don't know what it is but it looks impressive <laughs> oh no yeah for sure i mean no. i'm like looking at all the hardware that's in there um and i'm looking at it and i'm like how did they fit so much power into such a small thing i know i'm gonna get i'm gonna ask you a question after this okay because 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 this is full specs i'll start at top yeah work my way down all right cpus eight cores mm-hmm. at 3.8 gigahertz Yep. And a custom Zen 2 CPU. We knew most of that, but yep. that's the full cores right there. Of course, the, ter- the 12 tw- teraflops that we're talking about, and then the die size, three, uh, 360.45. The processing and the memory, it get, this is when it gets crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, we'll go for the memory because I know what this is. 16 yep. gigs, DDR6, and then the memory bandwidth, 10 gigs at 560 gigs per second, 6 gig. That's insane. One mm-hmm. terabyte of in- internal storage when, which uh, is their custom, custom SSD. ssd yeah yeah that they got from what was it was it nvidia that they worked with with that i don't uh, remember they worked, yeah, i feel like they work with someone with their yeah it's the they said it they were creating like a new one mm-hmm. and uh here's a quick note i'm gonna hit this right here in a second but i'm gonna get everything else so mm-hmm. external storage usb 3.2 external hd support so it does support that and we're gonna get to what that means in a second mm-hmm. optical drive 4k blu-ray still and then the performance target this is the target for games not necessarily what everything will run at this is performance target 4k at 60 frames mm-hmm. up to 120 god I can't if imagine. we get if we get 4k with 120 that's all yeah. i want i don't and think see- we will and see, I don't, a lot of PC well, people would be like, oh, we've had that. But, you know, y'all can stay over there. <laughs> I like my console. I don't I, have three grand, right? Yeah, hey, right? you guys would make fun of us if you saw how long it took us to set this thing up, all right? Right. <laughs> I don't it. need to add in gaming to all of this. Mm-mm, nope. <laughs> all right. Now, let's get back to the expandable storage. So a one terabyte mm-hmm. expansion cards matches internal storage exactly so. What that means is Xbox Series X will require proprietary cards to expand hard drive space. This full story is on US Gamer. Um, You will eventually run out of space on your game console one day. You'll need to delete games or increase your storage capacity. It's inevitable. How to handle this situation varies on the system you own. For the Switch, it's as easy as popping in a micro SD. For the PlayStation 4 and Pro, you can just put in a hard drive. And for the Xbox and One X, though, you can't really replace the hard drive, but you can. buy an expandable external storage Mm -hmm. and with the upcoming series x microsoft is offering a new solution though it'll likely be a costly one as revealed in digital Foundry's report the series x works on a system called microsoft uh, microsoft's called the velocity architecture which sounds some nonsense but all right Mm -hmm. where the ssd and io systems work together to provide xbox series x games additional benefits velocity architecture allows game storage to become additional memory while also saving cpu overhead and efficiency loading assets like textures the important part is that consoles expect games to run off the Series X custom with one terabyte NVMe SSD. Now, here's the tricky part. The one terabyte expansion unit that our friends played with was a Seagate branded. The format is meant to be portable, meaning you should be able to pick up multiple units and swap them as needed. 
Digital Fanny's hardware breakdown video even shows a little plastic cover when it's not in the system. We all know plastic covers well, I'm sure. Like in the old PS2 days when you mm-hmm. co- like cover up a, a little micro card so it doesn't get dirty or something. Yep. This thing, and you guys should look this up at home. It's so small and apparently it's a one terabyte thing in it. It's pretty insane. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, I mean, it's remember, as big as seen... your thumb. Yeah, well, I mean, we've seen, what are they called? The little micro SD cards for your phones that we've seen a terabyte That's, version. That is true. That is true. I have, you can actually buy that. I'm, I think right now it's a little yeah. pricey. I think I like 200 bucks, but you can buy a terabyte micro SD card mm-hmm. right now. So I guess it's not as crazy, but it's just wild to think that that thing no, is yeah, a, for sure. a terabyte hard drive. But now, it, it isn't technically this external hard drive thing. Is that solid state or is that, it, does that, is that not like a thing for external so, I assume it is not solid state, but I think what the article is mentioning, and I think um, Digital Foundry goes deep dive in what it actually is, but I'm pretty sure this works with the SSD, so yeah. it's it's probably as almost as fast. Mm-hmm. That's why it has to be this proprietary thing, I think, so it is as fast. Okay. Um, yeah, you'll be able to cut... Will apparently be... Sw- yeah, so the one terabyte expansion cards will apparently be swappable between different Xbox Series X system. So you'll be able to copy your games over to the cards and take them to a friend's console. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. So I guess you could, I wonder if it's like your card and then you could just kind of mess with it as you see fit after buying Hmm. one. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, we're in new territory now. Consoles generally don't get things like this. Um, of course, PS2, like I mentioned, we got memory cards, but it wasn't like this. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's full games on this thing, and it's meant to be portable. So, I guess they want it to be easier. Alex, what do you think about this? Um, I'm very skeptical about the external hard drive because it's proprietary. We've been down this road before with the Vita <laughs> and everything, so it's really scary. Because yeah, I'm wondering if they're sure. going to... I mean, I'm sure they'll probably make more than a terabyte expansion card because it's yeah it's, for sure because it, i'm assuming it's weird that they've only have a terabyte expansion so my mind's wondering probably, how big the games are going to be it, i i assume maybe that's an option and they're gonna have multiple later I, so when i hear proprietary gives me a little heart attack every time oh yeah of I course go, oh, here, here we go this thing's gonna be three hundred dollars and it's gonna it's, it's not gonna work oh yeah great. i mean god we but, see the we saw the vita ones yeah yeah but I'm, I would lie, and I'm not going to lie and say when I see Seagate on it, mm-hmm. it does make me feel a little bit better. Only yeah. because I feel like if they worked with Seagate to make a really good one, I feel like it wouldn't be crazy overpriced. If it had Microsoft all over it, then I'd be like, all right, they might be trying <laughs> to make just like a crap ton of money off of these proprietary things and make you buy mm-hmm. extra stuff. But it looks like they just genuinely wanted to get you something actually that was good. Mm-hmm. Because I'm assuming, uh, if you, I think if you go back to the article, so external storage, it, it, so it'll still support the external hard drives, but you will not be able to play anything on there. I believe. No, no, yeah. So the um, so the what they said is said the um, the external hard drives, for example, we have now, I can use those with past games for like Xbox one x games and before that like 360 xbox original but anything for the xbox series x that has to be put into the internal memory or the expandable storage card for that so you can't put xbox series x games on the regular external hard drives that we've already have yeah 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 so if you literally want something just for storage sakes Mm -hmm. then you can still buy it but you won't be able to play it yeah you will have to move it every single time yeah um and oh there's some cool like little ray tracing things on here yeah i saw that off minecraft it It shows two pictures of ray tracing off ray tracing on with minecraft and like boy that ray tracing makes it look a difference yeah it's it's uh, like like we've said on the here before the lighting is insane with this yeah like look at the fire like uh for people who can't see what we're seeing but there's a picture of like of a of a little area on Minecraft and it shows fire on the off ray tracing off. It just shows you know, pixelated fire like normal, but with it on, it looks like you could see the light around it. It looks like a real fire and it's still Minecraft. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And then like he said, it's, it's mine. It's Minecraft. Yeah. So it's crazy how good Minecraft looks. 
Yeah. All right. I'm going to go down to, I think this is really cool. So this is the input. So they're okay. fixing, apparently, they're fixing input lag, period. So every millisecond matters. This is kind of like an infograph they have on here. Um, so this is fast input scanning. Controller captures button press as fast as two milliseconds. Sent via high bandwidth Xbox wireless protocol. More responsive than any before. The action is captured and synchronized super fast to the system. And then there's a latency pipeline, apparently. Titles receive instantaneous input via dynamic latency input. Redesign new input software stack with focus on latency. Fully decoupled frame buffering and latency. Ultimate player to game connection. And then better synchronizing with your uh, console and TV. HDMI 2.1 gaming. High frame rate gaming with 120 <laughs> frames. Instant synchronization via variable refresh rate. Optimize your display with auto low latency mode. Fastest connection from console to display. Jesus. So they're just they're just destroying latency altogether. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> it's it's gonna be it could be as fast, probably pretty consistently at two milliseconds. So we're mm -hmm. not really gonna have to worry about latency anymore, which is super nice. Um, of course, if you want to make sure there is no latency, just make a wire and you're fine. Yeah, uh, but that it's a while, and uh, it's it, I'm curious of what they mean by the auto low latency mode. Um, so what do you think that is? So do you do I go into my console settings and it just changes the TV automatically? Or is mm -hmm. it going to tell me how to do it in myself? Because I assume the Xbox can't change the TV. Right? Uh, I don't know. I'm a little confused about it as well. Um, redesign, recouple, buffering. I'm trying to see like like reread it in my head to see if I can understand it better, but it's still, I don't know. Um. The team has also been working with the industry's leading TV manufacturers for the past two years to display ensure ecosystem. the display ecosystem is ready for the feature so, coming with Series X. So I did see a thing to where like, apparently to be able to run the Series X to its full potential, you have to have a newer TV that has HDMI. Wow, I think I think well, I think it says two point one because if if it has like for example like I have a like a like a really old flat screen or plasma. If I try to play my Series X on there, it's not gonna run as well and look as well as it should because of the it's not it's not able to run in that the the specs that it needs. Okay. So like okay, for example like like you have you have a new TV so you're uh, so like if we had the same internet same everything the only thing different is the TV yours would look and run faster than mine would on my old TV be just because right. of the latency So that okay, I yeah see what you're saying. That makes sense. Yeah so that yeah you sense. would have to have a, a a newer TV to make sure that everything runs. I mean, and, and newer not. I don't mean like last year, but like at least in the from the from. I feel like from twenty fifteen and above, you should be okay. Right. Okay. Uh, let's see. I like I like this part. I love the first off. I love the variable refresh rate. That's awesome. Oh, and yeah. the one twenty hertz yeah, for sure. We can we can finally get one twenty hertz, which it's funny. My TV supports one twenty hertz, but I don't think any game does, no, which is, oh, which is hilarious. Well, um, if it comes out, well, we can try it on yours because mine does not do that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Finally, there are player. Yeah. So I like this part. Finally, there are player <laughs> experiences that will be greatly improved thanks to the speed afforded by Series X. Mm -hmm. The most vulnerable is load times, which will greatly decrease thanks to the processing power of Series X. There's also the new quick resume technology that mm -hmm. we outlined in our last blog post. With current gen consoles, you can resume the last game you played. However, since most players play on average three to four games a month, which is pretty crazy, yeah. uh, the team wanted to give them the option to switch between them easily and quickly. With quick resume, you can resume multiple games with the press of button, instantly jumping back into the action right where you left off from multiple titles at the same time. And it's really cool. I have it open right here. Yeah, I watched um, the a video, YouTube video. Mm -hmm. I watched it. And it's actually working. It's it's interesting. It's, it's crazy. I don't know what I was expecting. I, I, I but I wasn't expecting just I, I guess just how easy it is because it's it's easy. Like they have. I'm watching the video right now. They have Forza Motorsport up. Then they switch to Ori uh, One. Then they switch to another game, and all of them are open. I think these. I think no, yeah, like six games. Yeah, they, yeah. He he goes through like yeah, four, he goes through like between four to five or five to six games, but um, it doesn't. 
Uh, I mean, it's not instantaneously. It does take a couple seconds because it's like it, so. It does like you know when you open a game, it shows like the big artwork or whatever, and then it starts the yeah. game. Instead of loading the whole game, it just it after that artwork, it'll go back to where you were what you were doing. Mm. Well, now what do you feel? They are technically showing us a bunch of old games loading quickly. Mm-hmm. Do you think we're seeing a huge change with actual new games we're going to get, or is this going to be more of a feature? I think that- it's gonna, I think it's going to be a. F- feature because uh if right now from what it looks like it looks like they're test they're te- uh, tech demoing it on an x i'm sure they're doing mm-hmm. it on series x but if they can yeah. run it if they can have it run on the x on the one x they would i think they'll just add it to there so everybody can have yeah. that feature okay I'm very curious on if they'll do that or not yeah um let's see since game states will be stored directly into the system the ssd they'll even pers- uh they'll even persist after you turn off the console, unplug it entirely, or even take a system update. One of the, one of the what? testers on the team unplugged his console for a week, then took an update and was still able to continue right where he left off. That's so that's as a that loading cool. screen. That's in. I I didn't know that. No, I, that's I, awesome. So you can straight up unplug this thing and then plug it back in, and it will pick up right where you left off. That's yeah. wow. I don't even understand that, but all right. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. Um, and then the the last part goes into just more game compatibility. Uh, they're just reassuring everyone what we've known for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, they're they're sticking with their plan. We're keeping Xbox One, uh, Xbox 360, and original Xbox games on mm-hmm. Series X. And there is a feature, I believe. I'm trying to find it. Please. Players will see benefits of the improved hardware on Xbox Series X for backwards compatibility games, including improved boot and load times, more stable frame rates, higher resolution, and improved image quality. Um, the compatibility team is also continuing to create entirely new te- techniques and innovation that can be used to further enhance the existing catalog of games when running on Series X. So they have a team actively, fi- not fixing, that's not the right word, but enhancing older games yeah, no, just yeah. to make them play better on this thing, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. And I assume there's some sort of auto mode that just immediately makes things look better or whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So that is exciting. That is all for the closer look at the full system. Uh, next here I have is the new controller we're getting. Uh, mm, if you guys yep. didn't know, we are getting a new controller with the system. Not Nothing crazy different. It is different, but nothing, yeah, nothing no, wild. Just if like you look at, yeah, if you look at your Xbox controller right now, it essentially looks like that with I would say two jarring differences. Mm-hmm. Um, so right now we got the Xbox new Xbox controller. It is a slightly different framework to help with people with slightly smaller hands. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, uh, the design team said they focused on uh, better cross device connectivity, easier sharing and reduced latency. We talked about that latency earlier. Uh, but apparently, let's mm-hmm. see. Yeah, what the design choice with the, the new? Yeah. Yeah, the D-pad's much different. It's it's closer to the 360 mm-hmm. D-pad, um, which is a little scary. Hopefully, this D-pad is better. Than well, the it looks like it's a one. mix. So, like you remember the, it's a mix. It looks like it's a mix between the normal D-pad and the Elite round one, but it, but it's yeah. kind of like curved. So, like it's like it's like mixed between the two. It looks heavily concaved. Like, no, it looks yeah. like your thumb is supposed to sit in that. And, yeah. and rock around, which is interesting. Yeah. Because n- most D pads are above the controller. This one, literally, it looks like it's so concave where your thumb will fit in middle and you're just mm-hmm. kind of rocking in a circle to make it work, which is cool. I like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, why did you decide to change the design of the D pad? The new D pad is about boosting performance and accessibility for all, way, uh, all ways people play. And it's one of the, uh, his favorite parts of the design when looking at the wide range of game genres and personal plays today. The D-pad is used a lot in different ways. That's why our Elite controllers have swappable D-pads. For some gamers, having crisp cardinal directions up, down, left, right with well-defined edges is what gamers need, and the cross is great for that. Mm-hmm. Some gamers need to hit accurate diagonals or perform sweep actions like in fighting games, which is where a face, a faceted, a faceted, faceted dish is designed to excel. And of course, based on personal play styles, some people just prefer one over the other. So they, they decided to do both rather than catering to one person. Yeah. Wow. Look, there's a specific picture on it here that has it. And it's it's further up than I thought, actually. The D-pad is raised a bit, a bit above the actual controller. Oh, wow. Um, which, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do see it. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty good. bit. And then, of course, we have a new button, a new share button, which I like yep. a lot. 
you just click the button and i think it takes a screenshot or a video and you can pick once once you click the button mm. and now that and the everything is like all in one thing like so the middle where the middle xbox button is there used to be like a little design to or like kind of like oh, a little yeah, si um there's a there was like in indents just to make yeah, it look indents. sleek but this is yeah. it's fully flush now to the controller fully, yeah it all looks like one controller which is nice mm -hmm. it looks really nice yeah and then the, the triggers are textured just for same with the bumpers extra. Yep, yep, the bumpers are as well. A little extra though. You can tell that that's perfectly where your like finger will go. Yep. Um, but yeah, that's all with the controller. It looks great. I'm excited. They didn't change much, which is good for me. I don't want no, to no, yeah. It looks it looks awesome. The only thing that I'm upset about this controller. Uh oh. Alex here, give you the hard facts, alright. It still takes AA batteries. Mmm, there it is, folks. It still takes AA batteries. Oh, it's, okay, since so Elite Two has USB C, yes. Why couldn't it just do that? So it is USB C. Uh, the new new control. I did leave that out. Yeah, but you can't. You can but, wire it, but you, yeah, you can get it wired, but it does not have a battery pack. Now, I I can't. I will not sit here, <laughs> achievers out there, ladies and gentlemen, our achievers out there. I cannot sit here and complain about this having a battery pack and then also complaining about the PlayStation 4 controllers dying all the time. <laughs> so it, now we're in a predicament of would I rather just have a controller that I can just get a battery pack for and then if the battery pack messes up, I can just buy a new one or a controller that if the battery pack messes up, I have to buy a new controller. Mm hmm I go with the former than the latter. Yeah. Because I I I get it. Trust me, <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, because at this point we should probably just have internal batteries. Yeah. But uh, well, I mean, we've seen with like, the Elite too. I've never run really out of out of battery with that one. So we yeah, the Elite with one. That. Well, I mean, it's a hundred and eighty dollar controller, <laughs> so That's I feel like point. we're talking about different different situations. But I what mean, I'm, I'm gonna say, this controller will be what sixty? I mean, they could just add what 10 15 more bucks and i'm sure it's more than that i would assume it's 30 bucks to get a really good because i assume that battery so? in there is amazing i assume because i assume this thing's meant to last like two years of hardcore mm -hmm. play uh because again it's almost 200 dollars, so it should last at least two years yeah um so i i i i would prefer the in internal battery mm -hmm. but i'm not upset that it doesn't have it because again with it it, it, you lose the chance of it dying and having to buy a whole new controller because I have plenty of people that their PS4 controller eventually just doesn't either doesn't charge or it uh, doesn't uh, keep a charge. It's because that port was horrible. The <laughs> the port is pretty bad, um, and also just the internal eventually dies. I assume you can only have it for up to a few years. To be fair, I can't really speak on that because I don't play a PS4 as much as my Xbox. Also, mm -hmm. I have, for someone who does not play on PlayStation that much, way too many controllers for the PlayStation. Yes, you do. Way too many. I have four, I think. Uh, I I have two. Two? Yeah, no, I, have, I think I have And four. I don't even count the second one, so I, may, I technically I only have one. They come out with these designs, man. They get me. They get mm -hmm. me. They know what they're doing out there. Mm -hmm. they I got me. my Kingdom Hearts one, and I'm good. I got my Kingdom Hearts one from that system, which is super nice. And I got like the special edition ones because mm -hmm. you got you got to have it. You got to moving on, moving on, moving on. All right, today this is this is brand new news. I woke up to this actually. Yeah. Um, introducing Xbox Game Pass Ultimate perks, and then this is also added in the new titles coming to Xbox Game Pass. And this is from Xbox Wire. Today, we're announcing Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Perks, a new exclusive member benefit starting March 18th that provides even more value for our Ultimate members. When we launched Xbox Game Pass in June 2017, we did so with the goal of creating a membership that provides the best value in gaming. Our members have told us they love discovering new games, but they also want new in-game content. Through Perks, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members will now regularly receive new benefits, including DLC, in-game content, and more, all free, including with the membership. To kick things off, this month members can redeem these perks for free. And I'll name off all the perks for you guys. So, Fantasy Star Online 2, Enter World, one of the biggest Japanese uh, online RPGs with a special content bundle which includes unique emotes, in-game cosmetics, including an Xbox jacket, 
a gold ticket mission pass, and in-game currency with a Masetta crystal. <laughs> this game is some nonsense. <laughs> no, yeah, for sure. Like, I remember playing the first game, and dude, I don't know why, but I was so into it because me and another oh, friend, so many people into this uh, Geo, we played yeah. this like nonstop. I don't know how I got into it. I just remember it was, I think it was probably because it was free. Uh, I played, I started the demo. And I was making my custom and my character, and I was about to start playing it, but something came up to where mm -hmm. I had to turn it off, and I never went back a, to a it. A tale as old as time. <laughs> yep. You make the character, and you're like, all right, goodbye, forever, and never yep. come back to this. Yep. I mean, I want to try it because I we have a friend, uh, Roy. He tried it, and he said he really likes it, and he's and he's into those bigger MMORPGs type of things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've heard good stuff. I, I've I'm, I've never even played one, so I could I might give it a try. Mm -hmm. World of tanks mercenaries a Skip. global multiplayer free-to-play game dedicated to tank warfare in the mid 20th century start your journey with three powerful tanks and more so you get some tanks in that one mm. see if you use the essential pirate experience from sailing and fighting to exploring and looting everything you need to live the pirate life and become a legend of your own right with perks you get a free ori inspired and central sales figurehead hull and flag do your ownership that's cool i want to go back to sea of thieves i do too there's I so many it. there's so many updates now i, I need know to, i uh, need to get i want to fight the megalodon and the kraken man yeah i want to i want to kill that kraken they got us one time if you remember we were sailing and a kraken came out of nowhere and destroyed oh us. my god yeah we need to get our revenge on it we need to yep smite become divine in the number one moba on xbox with a bundle that unlocks five gods Jesus. special character skins and voice packs so you can run into battle in style with Smite, join a community of 30 million players and defend your portal in showdowns in the Coliseum. I tried playing this game. Mm -hmm. um, this is like one of those games where it screams Elijah, but it's not my mm -hmm. type of game. And see, I used to play. I used to play some Smite, but yeah, I, it was like I around the time I, I was playing League. Because as soon as I heard there were you could just be gods from like mythology, yeah, I was so like, let me play this game, and yeah, I played it like this. This, this isn't for you. This isn't for you, boy. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not, not what you thought. Not, it's not. I, I, I can't get into mobas for the life no, of me. Yeah. I tried. To, I tried. Uh, I tried that. I tried. Um. I, you'll 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 respect this, Alex. And I know at least one person at home will be like, Jesus, I remember that. The DC Comics League of Legends ripoff. I tried that too. Oh yeah. I couldn't get into it. I don't remember what was it called. Do you remember? Oh God! And you it, said was it was DC. DC. Remember? Yeah, we played like the first thing, and I was like, "No, <laughs> no, 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 no!" And I dipped out. I was like, "This no." If DC Comics can get, let me see if I can figure it out. DC. Oh, speaking of DC I Comics, I <laughs> we were watching uh the show Um Actually. Oh okay. And yeah, uh, they had um said a question. And they, you know, they said DC Comics. Yeah. They had, they had, they had a thing to where like, oh, you know, if you if we messed anything up, you can comment or whatever, write in. They literally said it was like, oh, DC Comics is is not DC Comics. D uh, the C is already comics, so it's Detective Comics. I'm like, dude, everybody calls it DC Comics. Relax. <laughs> so like he's saying it's D Comics. I'm like, no. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's something they'd say on the show. That's a really good show. No, yeah, it is. Well, no, it's like well, like the person who wrote in. They were he they were trying he was trying to say that the show was wrong. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So you know, was, it's that one guy that has that oh, in the yeah. back pocket for any time someone says that, and he's like, oh, what, what? "Let me tell you." Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know what that game would be. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll I'm announce new not, perks in yeah. the future alongside updates to the Xbox Game Pass catalog. So stay tuned. There's no need to register or sign up for the perks program as long oh, as you're an Xbox Infinite Game Crisis. Pass Ultimate member. You'll find your perks on your console within Game Pass Beta. Infinite Crisis. Thank you, Alex. Yep. Thank you. I need that. It was killing me. I was like, what is this game called? Sorry. And you know what? I'm well, going to let everyone... Well, it shut down in 2015, so... <laughs> I think it came out and died pretty quickly. Yeah. Everyone played and was like, oh, no, no, no. no yeah. Not, not today. Not today. All right, we're going to finish out. I'm going to tell you, everyone, uh, about this Game Pass, and then we'll close out for today. Coming soon to Xbox Game Pass for PC. Astro Logaster. 
Okay. A comedy game set in Shakespeare's London play as Dr. Simon Foreman and treat his patients using astrology. Oh, God. And win him a medical license. Explore Simon's life, relationship, and his work. Make story choices strategically or just for fun, but be warned. Your choices will have consequences and unpredictable side effects in this story-driven action-adventure game on a truly ridiculous story. <laughs> Bleeding Edge is back. Xbox Play Anywhere. Grab your team and tear it up in Bleeding Edge, an electrifying online brawler where every fighter comes mechanically enhanced for mayhem. Choose your fighter from a diverse cast of colorful characters from the edges of society. Burn rubber as bold and beautiful Buttercup with a detachable saw blade arm. Powerpuff as, Yes, but yes, from Powerpuff Girls. Wreak havoc as black metal rocker. Nidhogger. Whew! Thank you. With his electrifying guitar solo. <laughs> this Dave, New York's most wanted assassin. Come join the cybernetic clash I of the century. I knew I'm you were, so glad. I, I got you. The, you you're, you're like my... Uh, uh, God, uh, I was trying to think of a basketball reference, but I don't remember his name. But you're like, you're there to get the ollie oop for me because I, I'm no, yeah. I'm tossing it in the air and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna miss. And you're yeah, out no. there, you're grabbing it for me. No, yeah. I've seen it. so many different names and stuff like this, like in <laughs> games that I like. I kind of remember like getting better at pronouncing them. So when I saw sure. it, I'm like, oh, that's Nidhogger. Yeah, I looked at that. I'm like, whoo! <laughs> Where yeah. do I begin? Yep. All right, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. It's morphin' time. Power, oh, God. Uh, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid pits current and classic Rangers and villains in 3v3 tag battles. Test your skills online against friends and players from around the world for endless replayability. Experience authentic but reimagined Power Rangers battle sequences like number four. Sorry, I was listening in the middle there because <laughs> I like when the game tells you it's replayable. <laughs> it's like, don't it's... worry, you can play as what? Mm, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't uh, specify this. I believe this is all PC. Yeah, this is for the first is all PC coming to Xbox Game Pass PC. Okay. Uh, the Surge Two on way to Jericho City. Your plane is shot down by a mysterious storm and crash lands into the outskirts. You wake up weeks later in a derelict detention facility inside the city. Robots are on a rampage, and a dark, expanding nano storm looms over the cityscape. In this hardcore, brutal melee combat game, the Surge Two challenges you to unravel. It's hidden secrets. <laughs> These guys can really get into their descriptions. I That's what I I'm saying. It. Yeah. I respect it. I respect it. March uh, coming soon to Xbox Game Pass for console. These actually have dates on them. March nineteenth, uh, Ace Combat Seven: Skies Unknown. I'm very excited for. I will. Yeah. I will yeah, be yeah, a for sure playing this. Aerial Combat has never looked or felt better than this. Soar through photorealistic skies with a full 360-degree movement. Weather and environments affect your aircraft and HUD, making those dogfights just that more realistic. Take to the skies and become an ace pilot. Kona, Northern Canada, 1970, a strange poster rages and Tempic It's late. Uh, and step into the shoes of a private detective to investigate surreal events in an eerie village while battling the animals to survive. A Tamapic Lake, I think? I think a, so. A, 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 a Tamapic? A, yeah, Tamapic. Yeah, Surge 2, same thing, comes to uh, that same day, 16th. Yep. March 24th, Bleeding Edge again. Yep. March 24th is when it comes back to uh, uh, consoles and PC. And then March 26th, we're getting Power Rangers, same thing, of course. Ooh. All to console, we're getting all those consoles. Now, these are the ones leaving. Oh, no. So if you want to play them, either play them or buy them at the which is a good, Which is a good bit, because I haven't seen this many. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So starting off, Borderlands, the Handsome Collection. City Skylines, The Golf Club 2, Lego Worlds, Oprencia, The Stolen Sun, Vampire. Those are all on console. Mm -hmm. There's your PCs leaving. Battle Chef Brigade, City Skylines, Kingsway, Oprencia, The Stolen Sun, Orwell, Keeping an Eye on You, and Vampire. Those are all leaving Xbox Game Pass. Oh, no. All right. Alex. Yes. That is the show for this week. It's a little short, but we are coming to you guys... Uh, it uh, should be live two minutes uh, away. Two minutes away. I, I don't know if you guys know it, 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 the PS5 event is soon. We're riding the lightning because it's in two minutes. But hey, we're getting we're getting this done. Uh, but yeah, it should be live already for you um, if you're listening to this one. So go check out what we thought of the PS5 event. We're gonna go do watch it and do a reacts right after. So give us that. Uh, uh, make sure you give us all the comments. What did you think? of the series x what do you think about their proprietary memory card how do you think they'll handle that will it be super expensive like the vita or is it something we shouldn't worry about leave a comment tweet at us at evm9000 at cravings for the skater thank you guys so much for listening you can head over to patreon.com if you enjoyed this 
and give us a buck helps us out a lot keeps the lights on the mics on and alex's dogs fed we need them yes. fed yes they we need yes, them fed. We do. We fed they're hungry i hear them <laughs> even though i'm not there i still hear them yep they're outside right, <laughs> they're outside give us yeah. an update how are the dogs doing no they're good they're good uh the Roros, you know his ears messing up a little bit i gotta go take them in tomorrow but other than Aww. that they're all good Okay, that's that's good. That's good. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go check out his Instagram if you want to see dog pictures. Yep. As always, guys, go Chief. Go Chief.